For this one about upek, we're going to talk about various forms of verbs, including the passive, the subjunctive, and the past progressive. If these are all terms that are very unfamiliar to you, I'd highly recommend check out Magush. Magush has over 200 GMAT videos that will prepare you, give you all the content and strategy you need, including a very long section of videos teaching you all the grammar that you need for sentence correction. And so if all these terms are just like Greek to you, check out Magush and Magush can really help you. So diving into the answers. Answer choice A, we have this form, were to trim. That is the subjunctive form. The subjunctive form is used when we're talking about something hypothetical. But the thing is, in this particular sentence, there's nothing hypothetical. This is real hard economic facts here. OPEC is going to cut, cut their production, but only if these other guys cut their production. There's nothing they want to do hypothetically here. It's all very real. So the, so the subjunctive just does not work here. In B and C, what we get, the output is trimmed, the output would be trimmed. Both of those are passive. And almost 100% of the time, the passive voice is incorrect on the GMAT. There are some rare exceptions, but in general, effective writing is clear, active, direct writing. So both of those are wrong. Incidentally, would be trimmed, that's actually the subjunctive passive, even worse. Answer choice D, we get this verb, were trimming. That's the past progressive. The past progressive denotes when we're talking about an action that was in progress in the past. So one completed op action, he ran yesterday, but he was running yesterday when, and I want to emphasize the action in process, he was running yesterday when something else happened. But here, were trimming output, there's something that just doesn't make sense. They don't have to be in the in the actual act of reducing the output at the time that OPEC cuts their production. In other words, as long as one action is done and the other action is done, that's fine. But the act, when the action actually occurs or whether the action is in process, that's irrelevant to the sentence. So the past progressive is simply not correct. And so we have very quickly nuked the first four answers. So we hope that E works here. And notice that what we get for E is a very clear if they trim output. Wow, clear, direct, sleek, precise, a beautiful answer. So answer E is by far the best answer.